Dan shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path that biteth the horse heels, so that his rider shall fall backward. And of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion's whelp. He shall leap from Bashan. Dan, 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 Dan. Hmm. And the lion fell in love with the serpent. Probably because they both have Dan in common. Hate to see their children. They might look something like this. Or if it's a fiery flying serpent that the lion fell in love with, their children might look like this. An angel of light. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Yea, you took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your god, Remphan, figures which he made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. And here's some information for the ADL that Moses wrote, who you don't like hearing from. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a-whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, whither they go to be among them, and will forsake me and break my covenant which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they have wrought, in that they are turned unto other gods. Now therefore write ye this song for you, and teach it the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. So if you ADL stooges want to call me anti-Semite for these things I'm telling you, then you might as well call God and Moses anti-Semites too, for speaking against the children of Israel. That is, unless Jewish people are not the children of Israel. Either way, if you speak against me for saying it, or God, or Moses, you get to burn for your perverted judgments. Capiche? I'm not a racist like your so-called prime minister. His transgression is by law not by his national origin. Now let's take a look at another lion's whelp that Jacob talked about in the double-minded house of Judah. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down, he couched as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. But actually the scepter staff did depart from Judah, when he pawned it off for sex from his dead son's widow. And you can read about that for yourself in Genesis. So they had a son named Perez, whose name means breach. I'm talking about a different kind of breach birth. Now since I'm talking about Dan and Judah in this video, let's see how a certain man of the serpent tribe of Dan and Solomon of Judah worked 
together to bring about a common goal of theirs. And Solomon determined to build an house for the name of the Lord and an house for his kingdom. And Solomon told out threescore and ten thousand men to bear burdens and fourscore thousand to hew in the mountain and three thousand and six hundred to oversee them. And Solomon sent to Huram, the king of Tyre, saying, As thou didst deal with David my father, and didst send him cedars to build him an house to dwell therein, even so deal with me. Not to hide anything, just to make this video shorter. You might want to read those verses yourself. Then Huram, the king of Tyre, answered in writing, which he sent to Solomon. Because the Lord hath loved his people, he hath made the king over them. Huram said, Moreover, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel that made heaven and earth, who hath given to David the king a wise son, endued with prudence and understanding, that might build an house for the Lord and an house for his kingdom. And now I have sent a cunning man, endued with understanding of Huram, my father's, the son of a woman of the daughters of Dan. And his father was a man of Tyre, skillful to work in gold and in silver, in brass and iron and stone, and in timber and purple and blue, and in fine linen, and in crimson, also to grave any manner of graving, and to find out every device which shall be put to him, with thy cunning men, and with the cunning men of my lord David thy father. Now why do you think a guy from the serpent tribe referred to him as my Lord David? I've talked about this many times. First Chronicles chapter 28, David claimed that God told him that Solomon would build his house. God's house. But in 2 Samuel chapter 7, it is clear that God gives David a message through Nathan the prophet that after David slept with his fathers, God would set up the seed after him. David did not wait. The one who builds, the builder, builds with lively stones, like it talks about in the New Testament. But Solomon hired masons who used hewn stones. And David lied. I've talked about this before. He did the will of Satan by numbering Israel for Satan, as it is written in the Old Testament and he did other choice things that people in Sunday school don't tend to talk about because Sunday school is counterfeit church it's not the body of Christ so with these things in mind I'll mention again as I have so many times before God never dwelled in temples made with hands. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things hath mine hand made, and those things have been, saith the Lord, but to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. But Solomon was building his own house. Thirteen years, and he finished all his house. But Solomon built him an house. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, saith the Lord? 
or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hand made all these things? Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, as your fathers did, so do ye. If so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house, and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Sion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Jesus saith unto them, Did ye never read the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, The kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. What shall therefore the Lord of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the husbandmen, and will give the vineyard to others. And have ye not read this scripture? The stone which the builders rejected is become the head of the corner. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. David said, The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. And David said, This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord, O Lord, I beseech thee. Send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord which hath shewed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords even unto the horns of the altar. Hear ye and testify in the house of Jacob, saith the Lord God, the God of hosts, that in the day that I shall visit the transgressions of Israel upon him, I will also visit the altars of Bethel, and the horns of the altar shall be cut off and fall to the ground. And he said unto them, How say they that Christ is David's son? And David himself saith in the book of Psalms, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. David therefore calleth him Lord. How is he then his son? Then in the audience of all the people he said unto his disciples, Beware of the scribes which desire to walk in long robes, and love greetings in the markets, and the highest seats in the synagogues, and the chief rooms at feasts which devour widows' houses, and for a shoe make long prayers, the same shall receive greater damnation.